Okay, uh, we're here with Adam Inchwood, um, a fine 3-1 free, free win for Worthing tonight against Folkestone, who are obviously on our tails in the league. Um, firstly, after Hornchurch Saturday, giving away that last minute equaliser, um, that must have been devastating, but the boys have come out with a response tonight. No, they have, yeah, it was bitterly disappointing, I think. Um, if you're going to drop points, then you don't want to be doing it in, in the, the manner that we've done it on Saturday. Um, long ball into the box, we didn't deal with it. I think we had a free header, went up in the air, and then yeah, they they tap it in from there. Which you know, if, if they're a good side on church, and if they score a good goal past you, then you're all your hands up. But to, to concede like that was a bitterly disappointing. And um, yeah, we was after a response today, and I thought we provided it. I thought the performance today was probably better than Saturday. Although I felt we had enough chances Saturday to, to win the game, I think Miki probably should score first half where he hits the bar. Um, and he's been excellent by the way, so it was a big miss him going off at half time. Um, but yeah, the, the response today was, to, was, was really good, good performance, and um, glad we got three goals. Okay, I thought um, Callum Keeley tonight, I thought he was absolutely outstanding. He held everything up, laid things off. Got two two great goals as well. Uh, your your thoughts on his performance? No, yeah, we moved him a bit more central and it obviously suited him. His hold up play was really good. Um, had Oli in a bit of a different position for him, just sort of supporting Callum a little bit centrally. Um, and that seemed to work well. Them two uh, played in more familiar positions. Um, I think you know Oli doesn't like to be the main one up there. Likes to play up with someone. So. And, and Cal done it really well today and, and took his goals well and hopefully now he'll be uh, full of confidence. Yeah, and Beresford, I've got another one who I thought had a, had a really outstanding game, game this evening along with uh, Robinson, because we haven't seen a lot of Robinson yet but I thought he, had, he was quite dynamic in the way they were both bursting forward down the wings. No, yeah, him and um, Luke and, and Jesper firstly like, give us a lot of pace and, and power and energy. Um, I just said to Luke at half time, like, I want to see more from him and in terms of his movement and um, his pressing. And he was excellent in the second half, running himself into the ground, his calves getting a bit tight towards the end. Uh, and Jasper was uh, a live wire on that side. And yeah, JB's a, a real, real good asset, good footballer. Um, he can roll into positions and, and pick up the ball well. Um, again, first half, I thought it was a bit loose with a couple of passes for the standard that he's got. Um, but yeah, he's been a great addition, playing right back, left back. Um, Anywhere, centre midfield, and, and he'll have a good game because he's a good, clever footballer. Okay, how, is it, how important is it to have versatile players at this stage of the season? Like I say, we've picked up a suspension tonight because Danny Barker getting sent off. So having that versatility within the squad is obviously going to be key going forward. Yeah, of course it is, definitely. Um, you know, Luca comes in alongside Aaron um, today, and, and Tati misses out. Um, we still got Pat as well that can come in, and you know. Um, be called upon on Saturday if needed. So yeah, it's, it is is really um, refreshing as a from a manager's point of view to be able to adapt formations and, and change and and work a formation with the sort of personnel that you've got. Um, and you know the players respond really well to the slight tweaks today that we was asked of them. And um, yeah, it shows that their their quality and their they're a clever clever bunch of players. Okay, obviously, obviously it, I thought it was a six-pointer tonight after after Saturday. Was that sort of your thoughts? Because obviously, if they'd won their games in hand and beat us, they'd be a point ahead of us. So I, I really felt it was a six-pointer. Did you go with that mentality? No, yes, yeah, so obviously a big game and even more so after conceding as late as we did. Um, on Saturday, and I was really disappointed, I've got to say. I didn't go in and speak to the players and didn't come and speak to you after. Um, just, just the manner that we we conceded, um, you know. But I, I sent them a message Sunday and said that you know they're a good group of players, um, and you know I probably should have responded better. Um, but just so disappointed that they conceded in the manner they did because I think they should be taking all three points there in that game. Um, and you know again they've showed up tonight and, and give a great count themselves and yeah. showed how good they were. Don't worry about that. There's a few people banging the back of the stand on Saturday because it was conceded oh, so late. Yeah. It was such a cruel way to, yeah, to not my, get the three points. Both of my toes are still badly bruised from kicking things on on Saturday after the game. So, yeah, no, it was it was disappointing. But you know, we've got to give credit to Hornchurch as well. They kept going, kept plugging away, and they're a good side. They're, they're on a good run, and um, you know, we can't disrespect that. Um, at the same time, you know, we set real high standards here at this football club now, and. Um, you know, we're disappointed with what we've done, but like I say, um, 
run again, roll up our sleeves and give a good account of ourselves. Okay, so Dan Danny Barker's suspended, Reese Meekham's injured. Um, any other injuries or is it just Reese? No, yeah, uh, uh, Will's been struggling with his hamstring, but hopefully it should be okay for training Thursday and should be available um, Saturday. Reese probably, we're hoping it, it wasn't a fracture, so he's just got stitches in the top of his foot um, at the moment. So I don't think Saturday's going to be... Um, Cricket uh, uh, long enough for, for Reese. I don't think we recovered in time, um, but maybe the Wednesday game. Um, and yeah, everyone else should be back. Obviously, Danny, I don't know his suspension will kick in. It might be right for Saturday. Might be okay for Saturday yeah. and kick in next week. Yeah, yeah so so. Like um, I spoke to Tyrese Mufunzi before the game. Yep. He saw his, his leg was off and he said he's hoping to be back on Thursday in training. Yeah, he's um, coming back to do bits now. Um, so Sam will be working with him and yeah, really, really good sign. Um, you know, he's had a tough, tough season. Obviously, he's sent off in his yeah. first game and then picked up an injury in his second game. Um, so you know, you don't miss it on anyone. Yeah, um, his looks got to change. His looks got to change, and yeah, it'd be good to have um, another player and good, good, good player added to to the group going into you know a real tough run of, run of games and. Um, you know, Ty, I'm hoping, come and have a big impact for the last few games of the season. OK, congratulations tonight. Like I say, I'm going to sleep like a baby. I hope you do. Yeah, and we'll see you on Saturday. Cheers, Pete. Thanks, mate.